The Brno International Engineering Trade Fair is the most important industrial trade fair in Central and Eastern Europe. This 58th year was held together with other specialized trade fairs. This 58th year was held together with other specialized trade fairs. IMT, Fondex, Welding, Plastex and Profintech. China was the trade fair's partner country, with Chinese companies exhibiting especially in Pavilion A1. This year's engineering trade fair was attended not only by hundreds of internationally renowned companies from 35 countries, but also by thousands of professionals, important guests and top politicians. The Elcom company, which we'd like to introduce, is not only an important and ever innovative exhibitor, but especially a leader in its field. The progressiveness and state-of-the-art nature of its products made it a magnet for both professionals and also a government delegation. Every year, Elcon tries to exhibit the best of what the company has produced, commissioned or worked on in its research teams as part of Electropark, organized by the Electrical and Electronic Association of the Czech Republic. This year we are exhibiting devices from conventional power quality monitoring, which means extensive measuring in the power industry and electricity grids. We are also exhibiting a highly dynamic robot whose main feature is that it is accessible through multiple channels, thus fulfilling one of the attributes of Industry 4.0. This concept has been a main focus of this year's trade fair, and Elcom is trying to make products to be included in this concept. We are now standing in front of one of our exhibits, which demonstrates not just any old industrial automation, but industrial automation in the world of Industry 4.0. This doesn't just mean involving cybernetics, automation, measuring devices or working on displays, but also connecting the exhibit with a different environment. For example, with the environment of the human factor, which allows information to be transferred to central data storage centers. To be more specific, this robot stores information about the production status to cloud, while people can also enter other information on the same cloud. All the while, something called business intelligence takes care of everything by processing the information together and creating certain conclusions or principles which may help to optimize something. I can use my mobile phone to tell the robot that I'm here and to let me know that it is aware of it. The robot does this by waving the tongs it uses to manipulate a product. The mobile phone is connected over the internet with the cloud and the business intelligence software application. This receives information that I need the robot to show that it is aware of me. It is from this environment that the instruction is sent to the robot, and the robot will interrupt its handling at an opportune moment and wave at me, thus showing, yes, I'm aware of you, and I can now carry out a different task that might be modified. Let's now look at a different area that we are presenting here. This is measuring in the power sector. Our company has been involved for some considerable time in the issuing of measuring in electricity grids. And we'd like to show at this year's trade fair that we can measure electricity grids throughout the chain, meaning from production, via transmission and distribution, right through to consumption. We are showing here various systems which are used for the individual parts of the production, transmission and consumption of electricity. Another area is distribution, which plays an important role in the so-called power quality. Our company has installed hundreds of analyzers measuring the power quality, connected to the distributed measuring system, where we measure the power quality parameters in accordance with the relevant standards and the data is processed in our software systems. Another area is consumption. 
We can see examples of measuring devices at the top of the panel. We use these instruments again to measure the power quality parameters. However, we can also measure the consumption of electricity right down to the level of the individual devices on the production line. This provides the power companies with extremely detailed information to help them optimize consumption or harmonize any diagrams depicting the consumption of electricity. The fact that ELCOM, along with the Electrical and Electronic Association of the Czech Republic, is involved in technical education, especially in Industry 4.0, was confirmed by the visits of secondary school students, whose training is also supported by ELCOM. We congratulate ELCOM on their successful presentation and look forward to seeing them at a trade fair in the future.